Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another high grade Gundam Build Divers Re-Rise review and today I'm going to be taking a look at these two boxes right here. These are two option kits for using with the Alice Core Gundam which is sold separately and that of course is the fake new unit and the fake new weapons. In this video I will be trying them out on both the Alice Core Gundam as well as Core Gundam 2. And as usual, this video right here would not be possible without those awesome people over at Hobby Link Japan. So if you want anything that you see in this video, including the fake new weapons and the fake new unit, links are down there in the description. Now let's get to it. So there we go. First up, I stripped down the Alice Core Gundam as well as the Core Gundam 2 so we can try out both of these option kits with both of these dudes. And I guess it makes sense to crack open the fake new unit first and then try out the weapons afterwards. So... First off, let's take a quick look at the box. So on the cover here, we've got the general gist about everything. There's the armor we get in here. I like the way they do these images. Everything that's in that kind of greened out digital vibe. Well, that is something that is sold separately. So this is just the armor, as we can see right here on the side of the box. So we have the armor and the little stand for keeping that on. Flipping around to the other side. And this is what we expect to see out of the kit once it's all done. So that's everything on the armor. Alice Core Gundam, that of course is sold separately with the Alice Earth 3 Gundam. And besides that, there isn't really a whole bunch of info on here besides what you can buy separately. So let's check out what's in the box. So I have built everything in here already. So this is everything once you've popped it onto that included stand. We get the smallest Gundam manual I have ever seen. And what I mean by that is, this is that classic style manual, just so mini. I don't know, maybe I'm getting overly excited about this, but this is quite cute. But as usual, there is all that information in the booklet. So first off, we've got some info on the fake new Gundam itself. If you don't want to read this, the gist is, Alice analyzed the planet system that Hiroto uses on his Earth 3 Gundam, etc. And then use this information to build a new style of armor based on the new Gundam. As well as that, we've got some information on the Alus and the Hitotsume, some info on Eldora's moon, and the specs of the fake new Gundam, all of which up on the screen for you to read at your own leisure. Flipping that manual around and we've got a bunch more info here. Once again, if you want to read any of this stuff, pause the video whenever you like. And of course, that is information on the new Gundam's armor, the fin funnels, and some information on the core spray gun, beam rifle. This kit comes on four runners that separate it into three colors, white, light gray, and a dark bluish gray. Also, there are quite a few color correcting stickers in here for such a small kit, but they're all those metallic light reflecting ones, so I guess it's not so bad. Finally, there's the full 360 degree spin of the armor once it's completed. I did panel line this in the front just to bring out the detail. And on the whole, this is slightly above standard Gundam Build Divers re-rise quality in my opinion. It is quite nice. The detailing is nice, but it is a little bit heavy on the stickers. But let's check out what this is like attached to the Alice Core Gundam. The little stand is quite smart. You can attach all the parts onto it. And I know it is jumping ahead a little bit, but it is worth noting here that you can attach the weapons on here, at least the fin funnel section of the weapons to this little stand for storage, which is pretty cool. But we'll save those for later. But yeah, once again, this is a very intelligent little stand because we even have the hands tucked away around here inside of its butt. To attach this to the Alice Core Gundam, it's exactly the same as we would have seen timeless times before. You do have to lose that absolutely awesome head, which kills me because I love this version of the Alice Core Gundam's head, but you never get to use it in any of the transformed versions, which sucks. But it is kind of handy that the head off of this just pops on as simple as that right there. So to attach the armor, it's pretty much identical to what we would have seen before. The armor on these legs has that cool little part on the back once again that hides where the leg attaches in that I really like. And the only difference that makes this different to what we would have seen before is when you attach the sides of the chest onto the Alice Core Gundam, we do have a little clip part at the front, which gives it a bit more bulk than any of the other planet system armor we would have seen before. Anyway, there is what we get when we put the fake new armor onto the Alice Core Gundam. This I like a lot. Once again, it's nicely detailed, but not over the top. The plastic is quite nice in this kit, and the overall silhouette right here is pretty beautiful. This kit's head does feature an asymmetrical design, which may or may not be to your liking. When I was building it, I thought I did not like it, but with it attached right now, it looks pretty cool. The rest of the kit, of course, is 100% symmetrical, and it is quite heavy on the stickers. 
We've got one up there in the middle of the V antenna, one for the eyes in there, one up there on the upper chest right there, we have one in the lower chest right here, and two down there in between what I can only describe as um, Gundam toes. But honestly to me, none of them really detract from the overall design and I have to say, I really do like this right here. So we've seen the fake new Gundam's armor, let's check out the fake new Gundam's weapons. So this is just a set of fin funnels and a beam rifle. This just looks like a beam spray gun on this little image right here, but you do get the entire beam rifle. We also have a core Gundam style backpack and the backpack for this kit. Once again, there is the side of the box and this does not show the full beam rifle for some reason or another. I don't know, it is in there. Some of the fin funnels can be used separately from the kit and there is an example of them attached to the Gundam Tertium. So inside of this box, we've got those fin funnels, this backpack, including a beam saber handle, the rifle, which can be core spray gun or the full new beam rifle, We've got an extra backpack for using it on other kits. And this whole thing comes on two runners in two different colors. So first up, as for the wing of fin funnels, only two of these actually do anything. That's this one here and this one here. So these have the whole flip out gizmo. Can pop off just like this. Whoa. Well, they're not gonna flop off like the Master Grade Verkat. That's what it's like off. It's hard enough to get them apart. And these are the two that you can fold up into a pair, attached to some sort of action base like this. Tuck away these two moving segments and you've got yourself your fin funnel ready to attack. So once, they, so once again, you do have two of those. So to attach this, you just first pop on this little backpack section. And I will mention this does have a beam saber handle, but uh, no beam saber beam! Again! I thought we were over this! But yeah, it doesn't even say anything in the instructions about ever even using this with a beam, so uh... That is odd. Anyway, to attach this then, you just pop on the wing like so, and it slides down slightly, and locks into place like that. So that right there is the beam rifle. This segment of it is one of the ugliest things I have seen in a long, long time. Just look at that. That is not cool. This kit right here does expect that you have the Alus Earth 3 Gundam, which you will need to build this, so it does say you can use it with the Alus Core Gundam's Beam Spray Gun. We also get a sticker in here, in green specifically for using on here instead of the purple one. And as for what that looks like attached onto that, it does look that much nicer than this weird hollow one that we got with this kit, but seeing as we're reviewing this kit, we're gonna go with the weird hollow one. That just slots into a hand, just like this. Anyway, that right there is the full 360 degree spin of the fully completed fake new Gundam. And I have to say, I do adore this design. Sure, the beam spray gun section of the beam rifle looks horrendous, but besides that, this looks really cool. It is awesome that we do have two functioning aspects on the fin funnel wing. I actually expected to get nothing out of this, so... So far, pretty cool. Well, besides the fact that you don't get beam for the beam saber, but hey. So as the light at my review desk is a little bit on the harsh side, there it is under some less oppressive lighting. So this kit does look pretty cool. It is light on dark, so that does mean at times it can be a little bit hard to make it look good on camera, but this is one nice looking variant, or should I say mashup, of the core Gundam planet system and the new Gundam. There is an idea of what it will look like under natural light. Once again, this is a pretty cool looking kit. It poses quite well. On top of that, I wish it had a little bit more in the ankles, but it's not too bad. And finally, there is that shelf presence test. And once again, these are all master grades and this still stands out very, very well. That big old wing has that new Gundam effect of giving it that very big and very unique asymmetrical look. This is one unique looking and pretty awesome high grade Gundam kit. Or should I say a combination of three high grade Gundam kits. So as for the articulation, I'm not going to go through everything on this kit, but it isn't too bad. It is a little bit lacking in the feet here because it is just a simple ball joint down here for the ankles, which can be very limited. But besides that, it's pretty much what we would have seen with any of these planet system kits in the past. So I would say about average. So we've seen what the fake new stuff looks like on the Alus Core Gundam. Let's see what it looks like on an actual Gundam Core Gundam. See if we get something a little more like 
the standard new Gundam. One thing I did notice though is that there is no arm extension parts included with this armor. Of course the core Gundam needs those in order to make its arms longer and I did also notice that in the instructions they did use this particular armor on the Jupitive Gundam which has white armor so we're gonna have to grab those arm segments from the Jupitive armor in order to use it on the core Gundam 2 and I just particularly want to uh, use it on the core Gundam 2 for some reason so that's what we're gonna do. So off with all of this armor which is pretty simple as you can see. Everything just pops off as simple as pop 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 and be super careful with these. If anything is going to break on your core Gundam it's going to be these little tabs down here so be extra careful with that section. So anyway, that right there is what the Core Gundam 2 looks like with the fake new armor and the fake new weapons. So once again, this looks pretty much the same as what we would have seen before because this armor covers up a lot of the Core Gundam that it attaches to and you have to use the exact same head. Although you do get a lot more white on the upper legs and the arms which gives it a more traditional Gundam vibe as well as the red and yellow in and around the torso. This looks awesome. I actually do prefer this right here. I guess because it is that more traditional new Gundam kind of look. And just for the sake of comparison there is a full side by side 360 spin of the Alice Core Gundam with this equipped on the left and the Core Gundam 2 with all of this stuff equipped on the right. Once again, I can't see this right now because this will be done in editing. So you can make up your own decision right now, which you prefer with the armor on. I will mention once again, if you do buy one of the Core Gundam kits, whether it's a Core Gundam 1 or a Core Gundam 2, for using with this armor to make this kind of new Gundam, you will need the Jupitive Gundam in order to have the white sections on the arm. So the Jupitive Gundam, with the Core Gundam 1 might be your best bet for building something like this. If you're like me you might be curious as to if the big old V fin that comes in this box can be used with the standard Core Gundam head. The answer is sadly no because it is designed differently. So just for the sake of seeing what it looks like I'm gonna pop that head off and pop on the head of the Jupitive Gundam. So that is the Jupitive armor attached onto the Core Gundam 2's head. So that right there is what it would look like if you wanted to use the Core Gundam's head instead of the included head. But personally, I love that crazy big old asymmetrical V-fin. As a bit of a size comparison, there it is side by side with the actual 144th scale new Gundam. This of course is the real grade. And although this is awesome, it's not nearly as big and awesome as this beast right here. Also worth noting, this does have the double fin funnels on it. Lastly then in here we've got this little adapter section for using it with other kits. Enter the Mudrock Gundam. So the adapter sticks into any standard backpack slot just like this. And that then allows you to just pop this on as you would have done with the Alus Core Gundam. And there we go, we've got the Mudrock Gundam with a new Gundam style wing here. So this kit can be used with any high grade Gundam kit or 30 minute missions kit with that standard backpack double hole setup. So that right there is it for the review and as these are just two option sets I'm not going to be ranking these on the tier system. This is a very nice kit or should I say pair of kits. Once again it may not be to your own particular liking that all of this stuff is sold separately but I guess they are just options. If you want just the fin funnel and the gun to go with one of your non re-rise high grade kits then you can do that. If you want to just grab the armor for using with your Alice Core Gundam, Core Gundam or Core Gundam 2 you can do that. So I guess that is quite cool. If you want the whole thing you're gonna have to buy three packs. Once again that is the Alice Core Gundam and the two kits that you saw in this video which is the fake new weapons and the fake new armor. However as it goes this is probably shot up to, well, at least near the top of my list when it comes to these armor sets for using with the Core Gundams. It's very nice, it's simple, and it looks very pleasing. The white has that traditional Gundam vibe, the head is the only one that is a full-on head that has that Gundam vibe, and if you want something that looks like a weird alien alternate reality new Gundam, this might be for you. But anyway, if you do want one of your own, link down there in the description. As always, thank you so, so much for watching, and make sure to come back for more Gunpla reviews, I'll see you next time. So once again, I can't end this video right here without thanking each and every one of you guys for watching this video, as well as liking and subscribing. 
And of course, special thanks to my channel members and patrons, Craig Jury, Kaiser721, Tyler Sanders, Caleb Engelhart, and Sean T.